you, that is going to see you through, that is going to be with you beyond this right here. God will speak to your life, Lord, have mercy. Your current condition does not change nor alter what God has said about you, God help me. It does not alter nor change what God thinks about us, God help me. Your current condition, Lord Jesus, it does not dictate what God has said is going to be. Your current condition, Lord have mercy. I don't care where you sit right now. You could be on a job that you hate and wish you could get out of there. You better know that when God shows up with an angel and an angel begins to speak, just know that it has to shift uh, and things can turn in the moment and in a twinkling of an eye. God has the ability to open up a dead womb. God has the ability to open up a womb that has not bared, uh, a womb that has not produced. Uh, but when God shows up, the angel said, Abraham, uh, what does Abraham represent? It represents father of many nations. Uh, Lord, have mercy. He says, you're going to have so many seed that you're not even going to be able to number them. Uh, Sarah, the scripture says, Sarah was in the tent uh, and she heard the angel when the angel spoke. Uh, and then if you read on, it says she laughed within herself uh, uh, because she was thinking, how is this? Uh, how can this be? How is it that God uh, can take something in the state that it is in and make something out of it? But can I tell y'all that God will take nothing and make a lot out of it? You listening to a young lady right now that God took uh, all from the streets, God help me please, uh, and gave me a name, Lord have mercy, <laughs> wrote my name. Oh, God, I want to thank you. Like the song say, there's a new name in glory, and it's mine. Good God Almighty. Took my name, Lord Jesus, and rewrote my name, gave me a name. Lord, have mercy. A name that people would know to say. That's a woman of God. A name that people would know to say. Lo, I like to vibe with her. Lord, have mercy. A name that folk would say the Lord really changed. Uh, God gave me a new name and right in the midst of when God changed my name, uh, I was in one of the worst relationships. Uh, good God Almighty, you go tell it, thing on it, tell it. Uh, in one of the worst relationships, good God, uh, uh, that I had ever been in, good God Almighty. Uh, in a situation that I wanted to fix, uh, in a situation that I wanted to see work out, uh, oh God, but it seemed as though it was not working. Uh, I I was losing, though it seemed, uh, but God showed up in my life uh, and gave me a new name, Lord, have mercy. Oh, God, I said, Lord, I see failure on their feet. Uh, God said, I see success. I got to get out of here, y'all. Uh, oh, Lord, have mercy. I see pain on their feet. Uh, uh, God said, but I see blessed. Uh, whoa, Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, have mercy. I said, I see it's a lot of hurt on their feet, uh, uh, but God said, I see healing. Uh, Lord, Lord, have mercy. There is healing on your baby. There is deliverance on your baby. Lord, have mercy. I said, God, I see defeat. The Lord says victory. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. You talking to somebody that God showed up in the midst of one of the worst times of my life and begin to speak over my life, begin to say some things over my life, sent an angel in my life by the name of Doris Jeanette Jackson, sent her in my life she took me under her wings uh, and became my God mama my forever love is what I call her may her soul rest in the bosom of Jesus now but my forever love is what I call her took me in and began to speak some things to me because I was just like Sarah sitting in the tent saying I don't know how this gonna happen mama I called her mama mama I don't know mama you sure mama <laughs> Mama, you sure, you sure this gonna happen, baby? I see you, baby, she said. Baby, baby, you gonna make it to TV, baby. Baby, I'm telling you, baby, God gonna use you. She said, baby, listen to me. God gonna teach you. He ain't gonna just let anybody put their hands on you. God gonna teach you, baby, because you special. God gotta do some things in you. God gonna use you to help his people.
deeper, baby. But I'm sitting there with a broken heart while she talking. I'm sitting there in love with a man that's doing all kinds of stuff. I'm sitting there thinking, Lord, why don't you fix this relationship right here? Why don't you save this marriage right here? I had my eyes set on that, but God had his eyes set on what my future would be. God knew which way he was going to take me. I'm just telling the truth this morning. I, oh, God help me. Look, I had it set. Oh, I wanted God to fix that, but God said, I'm fixing this. I wanted God to do that, but God said, I'm doing this. And the Lord sent an angel in my life that would speak prophetically in my life, an angel that would talk beyond what I would see about myself because my posture was messed up, God. Oh, I wish y'all heard me this morning. I said, my posture was messed up. Your girl's posture was messed up because my posture was on what I wanted God to do. My posture was on how I wanted God to fix it. Oh, but can I tell you, oh Lord, when the angel shows up, I don't think they hear you this morning, Holy Ghost. Oh, but I love you, man. I'm on. I love you, dude. I'm honored, God, that you chose me. I'm honored for the people you put in my pathway that helped me when I was broken. I'm so honored, God, for the people that kept speaking life when I felt like death. Oh, I'm so honored, God. Oh, Lord, I want to thank you for Doris Jackson. I want to thank you for the time you gave her on this earth. And I want to thank you for meeting her, God. I want to thank you for Tampa General Hospital, the place where I met her. I see her face right now. Mama, I want to thank you because your baby is still moving, Mama. Your baby is still talking about Jesus. Your baby is still living for Jesus. Your baby is still preaching the word. Your baby is making moves, mama. Your word is becoming life. And I want to thank God for you. I want to thank God for you. I want you to know your labor was not in vain. And the fact that you kept talking and speaking life when I couldn't see life, mama, I want to thank you this morning when it was hurting me all inside, when I didn't know which way to turn, but you kept on saying, baby, it's going to be all right uh, when you kept sending letters when I ran from Tampa and came back to Alabama you write me letters uh, and God I want to thank you for the letters my mama would write me the Bible studies she would give me on the phone uh, the time she rebuked me I want to thank you uh, for mama this morning uh, because it's a God that can I want to thank you for uh, I want to thank you for the greatest rebuke she gave me when she told me she said baby if you don't learn how to control your mouth, your religion, your relationship with God will be in vain. You got to know when to shut it up. And you got to know when to speak up. You ain't mastered it yet, baby. Get yourself somewhere and sit down. That's what she told me at the time I was hurt. I was like, oh, she being so mean to me. But she told me something that I live by now. Shut your mouth sometime. I know how to pump it. Pop, pop. Shut it up, Fina, and don't let it get you. When she told me what's working in my life right now, y'all, 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 y'all don't know why I'm like I am, good God Almighty, uh, because I allow somebody to mold me. Mm. I allow somebody hand to get on my life uh, and begin to work. Oh, so Randy. I allow somebody's life, uh, somebody's hand to get on my life. See, I was not here uh, trying to do it on my own. She can't do her job. I didn't think I was Miss Big Stuff. Uh, who do you think you are? Oh, God, but I submitted to authority. Who Jesus Christ sometime it hurt her. Uh, some of the stuff she'd have to say to me was painful. Uh, some of the stuff she said was painful. God, God. Because uh, like they say, the truth hurts. Uh, I like to say it like this. The truth heals. Uh, that's what I like to say. Uh, it brought healing to me. Good God. Uh, the position I was in was what was hurting. Uh, them lies that I was living is what was hurting. Uh, even the lies I was telling is what was hurting God. 
God help me. Oh God, I love you this morning. I do hosaya. Ma de lebe kusi talabo. Eko papa yo no hosa mananda. Hey de do lobo se de ya. I've had people to come. I've had people to go. Y'all better hear me. I've had people that say they will rock with me. Ain't rocking with me no more. But baby, can I tell you I got a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. Good God. My mama told me, said, baby, you gonna have to learn. Baby, you are gonna have to learn how to walk through this thing. But God gonna teach you how to walk through this thing. Baby, keep your eyes on God. I got the last video that she did before she left this world. And even in that video, she was encouraging people. In that video, I got a money double If you ain't got somebody in your life that you let help you, if you ain't got somebody in your life that you let mold you, that you let speak life into you to help you, then I want to say to you, get them, please. Please make sure that you get them. Life will be so much better. Life will change. Life will flourish for you so much better. Get them people out your life that's helping you with that junk. Mm. Them people that's helping you do all that stuff. Them people that's helping you sleep with that woman's husband. Them people that's helping you do all that kind of mess. Them not your people, like I can tell you. Because homeboy, her, she would tap me on the shoulder, baby. You know that ain't right, right? Mama, uh-uh, baby, I ain't gonna ride with you when you're wrong, baby. That ain't right, baby. You go pay for that. Uh, uh, baby, you know as a man soweth, so shall he reap. You go pay for that one right there, baby. But mama, you know know what they did to me, baby. It don't matter. It's all about how you respond, baby. That's what's gonna matter because when you stand before God, you gonna have to stand before God for your actions, uh, not their actions, baby. So you wanna make sure hey, God, hey, top of shot. where you coming from, Lord? Uh, why you doing this this morning? Who needs it today? Uh, I got to give it, though. Good, do I can't give them nothing but the truth. The truth that took me over. Hey, she told me, uh, she said, baby, you go pay for that. Oh, mama. Mama just being mean. Sometimes I wouldn't even answer the phone. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Cause I be done got mad with her about what she be done said to me. Wouldn't even pick up the telephone to answer her uh, because I'm mad. And she leave a voicemail that I wish I still had right now today. She leave a voicemail and say, ah, you mad, ain't you, baby? <laughs> she be laughing. <laughs> uh-huh, you mad, ain't you? You'll be all right, though. See, that's just growth. That's development. See, that show you well, yeah, you done got mad at me, ain't you? That's all right, though. I love you, baby. I'll be here when you call me. You hear me now? I love you. And you keep looking to them hills from whence cometh your help. And Lord, have mercy. I couldn't do nothing but yield to it because every time I tried to get away from her, I'd find myself right back there at her. i find myself in a situation where I needed her, where I'd have to be right there to talk to her. God, I want to thank you this morning. I don't know what y'all celebrating. Y'all might be celebrating your coffee, and I like that, too. Probably going to get a cup in a little bit. I like that, too. But you might be celebrating the house you're in. You might be celebrating the car you got, and that's fine. That's on you. But I'm celebrating the fact that I have a God that can, and I'm celebrating the angel that showed up the same way the angel showed up for Abraham and Sarah. And I'm celebrating the fact that even though I was in a a bad place that angels spoke life god I thank you. That angel spoke life. That angel spoke to who I was and who I was becoming. God help me. I want to celebrate that. Oh, God, I love you, man. I want to celebrate that on today and the fact that somebody could look beyond my faults and see the fact to say, hey, baby, God going to use you, baby. God going to use you. That's what she said. She said, baby, God going to use you. And I'm saying, God can't use you. Me? How is God gonna use me? I'm messed up. 
up, my heart all broken and everything. What you mean God going to use me? What do I have that God can use? You must don't know my history. You don't know where I came from. You don't know that I was fondled, you know, at, at, at five and six years old, that I, I was touched by an older man. He was fondling me. You must don't know the hurt that that caused. You must don't know that I ended up getting raped, right? You must don't know that my first kid literally came from a rape, right? You must don't know that. You don't know I was pregnant at 14. You don't know all of that, do you? Huh? You must don't know about any of that that took place. You you, you can't know about it because you're telling me that God go use me. You're telling me that life is going to get better for me.